my name is Angie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am a mom of four. I love to homeschool. I love to read books and I talk a lot about both of those things on this channel. Today's video is more of a homeschool video. It's one that has been requested by a number of people. It is to talk about how I do logic for pre-K, kindergarten, and what my plans are for first grade. I plan to show you resources, where I got them, what I like about them, and a flip through of a number of them. So let me hop in. I used maybe kind of three companies so far, and I'm definitely open to more. I have a lot <laughs> you can see, from the Critical Thinking Company. I have a number of books also from Kumon. That's another company. Sorry, the glare is pretty bad, but Kumon. And I have another that I'm trying out for the first time this year, and that's Proof Rock Press. So I'll link all those below. I also had a subscriber that mentioned the fact that Evan Moore has a series called, I think it's Critical and Creative. And I'll check those out if I need more resources, which I might because my kids love logic. So that's the companies I use. I get them mostly from Rainbow Resources, sometimes christianbook.com or Amazon. I really just kind of price check. I wait for sales, especially christianbook.com often has a sale. So yeah, those are the three main places I get them. So whatever's cheapest really. I'm gonna walk through a few of these with you. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you inside. So I'm gonna start with what I did with my daughter last year. So she was a pre-K four. And so what we started with with her was these Can You Find Me books from the Critical Thinking Company. And this is grade pre-K. And so really for all of my logic books, I work with them because they cannot read. So this is definitely not something I give to them to work on. That will be later, but not for right now. So these are great because you have some fun logic puzzles. So like some animals walk and some leap high, some animals swim and some can fly. Think about each animal and then point to the circle where each one belongs. So it's just really cute kind of critical thinking ideas. And here it's talking about who drove the furthest, which car is goes to which person. And then it also includes a little bit of reading and colors. And so this is a really wonderful, wonderful book. So we went all the way through this. We would just do a, usually back and front a day and she just loved it. So once we finished this, we moved into the Kumon books. Really these two, even though they say K and up, both of them say K and up, I use them for my daughter. And she could do most of it very easily. It just really got to the point at the end where she would struggle a little bit more because basically they're set up in two sections and then they get harder. Like for instance, with the first set, it's picture patterns. And so you see which one goes next. So it's making patterns. Number two, number three, sorry, four, five, six. So as it got up here, it started to get harder and harder, and then she would have a little tougher time, but she still did really pretty well. I was impressed. And then as it went on, it changed things up. So here it was like, circle the parts that are pretend. I go back here, here's some mazes where you can only touch certain shapes, but not other shapes. She really liked those. She did pretty well until they got to some of the harder ones. Well, these ones were harder. These are hard for my son too. He had to flip the shape, flip it again. And so it was kind of these spatial problems, which were just so interesting. And then here it was like, which one goes here? So they have to kind of think through the cart moving. So it was really fun. I really like these Kumon books. And these ones are same and different. These are great too because it goes through and it makes them see which one is which. And here it's draw a line to the matching picture. And like I said, it says draw a line, but for me, my plan with these is we just worked on them together so we never used pencil in them so I could just keep using them. So I used this for my son, used it for my daughter, and I'll save it for my twins. So I don't plan on buying these, especially these early ones, pre-KK, more than once. When they get into some of the upper grades, we will, because then I'll just give it to them as independent work, but not for right now. And then I did pick her up a, another Kumon book for this upcoming year. So she will be in kindergarten this upcoming year. And this one's Creativity. And this is one that can't really be shared. It has to be drawn in. And she is more of my artsy kiddo. And so I think she will like this. So she's looking forward to this book. It is a lot different than the other Kumon critical thinking books, but I think she'll like it. So. That's one. So that one is what we're working on next. And then to transition a little bit into my son for last year, he was in kindergarten. 
so again, we started with a critical thinking book. Can you find me? And we worked on this together. So usually as a, a break, kind of between math and reading, to give his brain a little bit of a rest, we would do two pages, sometimes four pages, depending on how much I would let them do. But it has a very similar feel where it gives you kind of these little word problems, if you will, but they're really fun. And he liked them a lot. So that's when we started with, and then we transitioned into these, which I just love these kinds of puzzles. I remember doing them as a kid. He took a little while to like them or to just really get the hang of how to work them. For instance, if he figured out, say, the duck was six years old and put a circle there, it was hard for him to know that he had to put X's down and X's across. But by the end of kindergarten, I would say he figured that out and he was a lot more independent with these. All I would do is I would read the two clues to him and let him work on it. And so we actually tore these out of this book. So this is a consumable one. So I rebought this for my daughter. But this was the first one where it was pre-KK. And in my opinion, this is more of a K. He didn't struggle with it. It just took him a while to really get it. And I'd say it was very much geared for his age. It wasn't too hard, but it wasn't too easy. But it would have been too hard for my daughter last year. But anyway, this is for her for this year. And then I also picked up a grade one and two for my son for this year. So it just adds more squares. I'm so excited to see if he kind of just really takes to these because I remember loving them so much as a kid. Okay. And then I picked up a couple other things. I got them each their own copy of these. So I have two copies of both of these. This is rated for kindergarten and first grade. So it's their first math analogies book. And it gives you some sample lessons here. And it looks like it's a lot of follow the pattern or figure out the analogy. Huh. I haven't actually looked at this. This looks very interesting. These will be fun. Hm. Anyway, okay. So that's what those look like. So we'll be trying those as well as this lollipop logic, which is for kindergarten through second grade. And again, both of these I felt like were more consumable than the other ones. And so I picked up individual copies. So like it's here, number these pictures to show the correct order. So that's wonderful. Here it is, guess, can you guess what the picture is based on these drawings? So this looks just really good. And here's. A few more of those word problems. Anyway, so those are a number of the logic books that I have planned for my kids. And I might have to pick up more, like I said, my kids just love logic. Okay, so that is really all I have for this video. Please comment below if you also love logic, if you have any recommendations for me. I'm always looking for new companies and new resources for logic. So if you have any of those, please share those with me. And yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Please consider liking the video, subscribing if you like what you see. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.